Jared Polin from NosePhoto.com, and this is your... You look pretty in pink. Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Wirestock, which is the easiest way to sell your photos, videos, and vectors online. Now here's how it works. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock. They tag and keyword them for you and then distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, 123RF, Pond5, and many more. You can do all of this from one single free account, no subscription fees or flat fees. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. There's no excuse not to at least try this out. For real, go shoot some trees or flowers or the birds and the bees. And, and not, not those birds and bees, Dan. To sign up for free right now, head on over to bit.ly slash frostock, the number four. First up, this story is only for doctors and lawyers who make a ton of money. How dare you? Leica will be holding the 40th Lights Photographica auction in June and has a bunch of interesting camera-related items for sale, including this rare Leica 16mm prototype camera called the Leica 16. The 16 stood for 16 millimeters, as in this camera used 16 millimeter film instead of 35 millimeter film. Now this camera never went into production and was canceled probably because 16 millimeter might not have been capable of giving you that Leica look. What's that look like? Which, which looks like this. Leica says they expect the lot, including the Leica 16, to fetch three million freaking dollars. Amigo money. Now, I know I give Leica owners a lot of shit, but Leica is the supreme of the camera industry. In fact, why hasn't there been a supreme Leica yet? Well, actually, there has been this stupid thing. Now, how smart are they to hold their own auction? Really smart. Or is it, we need some cash fast, let's sell some useless crap from the archives to some numbnuts with way too much money? How dare you? Next up, according to Nikon rumors, the next batch shipment of Nikon Z9s is expected in the US on May 10th. Now, they also went on to say, please note that this is not official information and is based on feedback from retailers that could be wrong. Honestly, I think they're probably right, and I base that off of absolutely nothing. How dare you? The issue Nikon is facing here is they claim shortly after the Z9 was announced that they had more orders for this camera than any other pro camera before, but due to unprecedented demand, there might be a wait time of six or more months. Six! Now, Nikon Rumors is saying that the current wait time for the Z9 is roughly 12 months. 12! And if my math is correct, that's like a whole year or something. Duh. This is a good and a terrible problem for Nikon. The good news is there was a lot of interest for the Z9 for obvious reasons. The bad news is the Z9 II will probably be announced before they can finish shipping the Z9 pre-orders. The future certainly sucks. If you pre-ordered a Z9 and got it already, when did you order it and when and did you get it? Please let me know down below. And finally, if this Canon rumor is true, I know what my next RF lens will be. Really? According to Canon rumors, the long rumored RF 35 1.2 may finally be announced later in Q3 of 2022. Now, Canon rumors was told that this lens is already in the hands of testers and marketing folks. Wait a second. I'm a tester and a marketing folk, whatever a marketing folk might be, and it's not in my hands. Phone call. Oh, who could that be? Hello? Oh, it's Roberta L. with Canon PR. You know nothing about this rumor, Jon Snow? Then why are you calling me? Hello? Hello? She hung up. Now I've been waiting for a Canon 35 1.2 and have said in the past, when Canon gets a 35 1.2, I will dump the Sony A1 in favor of moving to Canon. Well, recently I've made the switch already from Sony to Canon because of the 28 to 70 F2 and all of the other glass. And a 35 1.2 would just be some nice icing on the cake. Expensive icing, but well worth it icing. What is icing? Now I hope this rumor gets real, real quick. I just now. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. Check out the last fix. Go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.